Hello everyone, long time no see. So today we're taking a look at the latest addition to the Zen Masters add-on group, which is Zen Build Bevels Quickly. Uh, there's a running joke that this stands for Zen Barbecue, which, well, make it what you, you want it to be, but this, this basically is an add-on uh, I found very interesting, which uh, helps and is most, mostly targeted to hard surface artists. In my case, I love it because uh, it automates the process of having multiple bevel variations within the shader for low poly geometry uh, within the same material. And that's important because uh, in the past we used to have, I used to have multiple different uh, materials. Sometimes I use vertex paint to do that and it was not as a streamlined process. So this accelerates uh, hopefully a lot and I'll be showcasing further uh, other types of e uh, issues and other great stuff that this has. So let's go. Today's demo model is made by Max Painish on Sketchfab, which in itself is inspired by an artwork from Matt Cobra on Instagram. So if you want to support both artists of excellent expertise, please visit their profiles. So, let's go. For everyone that's familiar with my channel, knows that I do code reviews. Firstly, because of transparency, we are all professionals and we are worried if things we are actually purchasing, purchasing uh, are running efficiently and would not add up to our loading and startup times. You know, if you get lots of add-ons time to time, your startup loading time will increase substantially. Um, of course, following the previous iterations of other Zen group add-ons, this is very optimized as well. Um, only 300 kilobytes, 100 packed um, kilobytes. Uh, code is very clean. Of course, I don't have time to showcase everything here, but uh, it has the same key maps. Uh, they are not conflicting with previous iterations, previous add-ons. Um, also has custom icons, mostly for branding and um, defining different sets of uh, groups for your bevels. So you can group by color per se. Um, that's it. Assuming you already know how to install add-ons by now, but just in case you click here, come install, select the zip file. You do not need to unpack the zip file and the, all the options will be loaded here. Now for you to activate the add-on, just click here, see the overall settings and click save. Okay, so let's take, uh, let, let's take a look at the additional settings that it comes from. Um, nothing very special this time. Uh, basically you can select, uh, you have like a face boundary mode in which you decide to select by faces or by edges. And you can always have like a prompt confirmation if you want to switch to cycles when you are doing the uh, quick preview per se. It has a quick preview option. I'll go further in depth uh, on the next minute on that. Key maps. So shift control X for the main pie menu. Um, and oh, same, same shortcut for mesh related operations and highlight bevels. So nothing much, help. So you can always check support on their Discord, their documentation, and also uh, other links for Zen Group, Zen Masters related um, merchandise. Again, this is a added mode add-on. So it's located when you go within the end tab, alongside uh, other Zen UVs. So we, can, we have Zen UVs here, we have now Z uh, build bevels quickly. So let's build some bevels quickly, shall we? 
Um, again, starting off, we have uh, presets for millimeters, centimeters, meters, uh, depending on what types of projects. If you're using Unreal, you may be using a different uh, unit. Uh, and you can also build your own uh, groups. So regardless of metrics, you can do one uh, within Blender's uh, units. You, so let's say first one, you, you want it to be tree or whatever, you know. Everything can be accessed again as the same shortcut uh, I showcase, Ctrl, Shift, X. So this is the only uh, pie menu on this add-on and you have per preset, we have six slots that we can change. So pretty much the default is one to three and then 10 centimeters to five. And this gives a really good range for you to arrange things. Uh, you can render preview from here directly. So if I click here, you can see it loads up cycles for us automatically. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the first overview. To facilitate a little bit of our viewer here, I'll just turn off quickly the seams for our Mark Sharp and also uh, UV related seams on the model here. This is a simple model using um, angle split already. So we have a very nice sharp low poly object here on the skateboard. And you can notice that um, for us to start using this, let's uh, go to edge mode. Let's select these edges here and let's click Ctrl Shift X and select a radius of two centimeters. Now you can see that it became green. Let's set uh, three centimeters. Now it's blue. So it's following the same color from our preset here. And again, this can be toggled, right? So if you have other edge information like sharp or, or others, you can turn it off on this display automatically. On this edge here, let's do the following. Let's set, um, let's do, let's, let's go more. Let's go to five. And look at this beauty. You can see you have a sudden gradient here. And you can see the interpolation happening. So here we have the decided for one type of bevel and here another one. Again, this is all shader based. So for us to preview this, we need to go to cycles render. Uh, so let's go render preview. And now we can see our bevel here. And on the other side, super, super nice. Uh, let's try to do this in real time. So let's select this edge again and let, let's select for a one centimeter. Now you can see we have a more subtle bevel here. Uh, let's even change this to 0 0.05 and click OK. Let's set it again. There we go. Now we have the even sharp bevel here. Now you ask me, what is this preview material override button doing? Uh, this is very simple. Basically, uh, it kind of uh, overrides the everything that you have within the shader. So let me bring the shader tab here. And here we have all the textures for our bunny model. And Zen, Zen uh, BBQ, it's creating three groups for us automatically. These two groups are the preview one and the normal one, which is basically doing all the uh, attribute math for us to set different uh, bevel types within the same shader. Uh, so when you turn off this button here, you are actually just muting uh, this node. Um, and then you can preview your materials with, with the textures and everything 
plus the, the new bevel applied. Now for you that you want to know what it's doing behind the scenes, it's very simple. Uh, basically it's using a attribute uh, node and it's the same thing I used to do with uh, vertex colors. So I used to paint and interpolate between black and white values to ob obtain different uh, types of um, uh, bevel sizes. And now uh, it's leveraging uh, the new attributes um, filters from geometry nodes um, to obtain that. So it's, it's, it's very nice. If we go to the spreadsheet editor here with the simple model, so you can see we have 0 0.1, we have three types of bevels within the same shader. We have 0 0.1, 0 0.03, and 0 0.05 on the same model. And the magic about this is you can bake that info down. So here it's a way simpler model, but you can see I'm in EV render and I'm getting the bevels in real time. And of course, if I go to edit mode, you can see all three different bevel variations um, outlined by the color. So we have the pink one, the yellow one, and all the different attributes I just showcased you. Of course, you can turn this overlay down. And yeah, Sergey himself did a uh, two hours live stream showcase his own workflow to build uh, a different prop. So I'll be leaving the link on the description uh, that you can check that out. The add-on is 90 bucks. So if you want it, go grab it on the gun road. I'll be leaving the affiliate links down below. Again, I barely have time to do these code reviews and all these, these reviews nowadays do to work. Uh, I do this on the weekends. The commissions that I earn from these add-ons barely pays for my dog food. But anyway, I'm here. I'm part of the community. Um, it's paying for the time cost for my OBS premiere uh, for editing these videos. And again, if you like this add-on, go to talk to Sergey on the Discord. I'm sure, sure the, the developers there will love it. And uh, they really need your help right now. So yeah, uh, go support them. They have studio license as well. Um, again, now off topic, not talking about bevel, shader bevel related things, but actual physical geometry bevels. We have Nathan from the, uh, it's a community developer, and he's working now on the mesh bevel node for quite some time. Now, guys, this is a very important project, and I have just read that some changes to the bevel code itself will be necessary uh, and some refactoring. So big stuff, I know. And if you guys can go there, uh, I'll leave the link on the description as well for this. Give a heart to Nathan. Let's, let's comment here. Let's give lots of support so the de developers know that this is important. We want this for Blender and hopefully we can probably get it to 4.0 or even 3.3 if God knows uh, how well this goes. Uh, same thing for the remesh nodes, very important nodes. Let's see how it goes, developed by Fabian here. And yeah, that's it. I hope everyone has a great week, a great weekend. And any questions you have, reach out to me on Twitter. And uh, until next time, see you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.